Hi, uh, uh, we like to be inclusive at the Monday Club. We have had a play here once. We've certainly had a comedian who uh, died on his ass, to be fair, but uh, at least he got up and had a go. Uh, and we've got a resident poet uh, who comes here every week, and uh, he's a really nice lad. And not only that, he brought me some cough sweets this week, so he's doing very well so far. So please put your hands together for Dave Jinx Johnson. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you, Barry. And uh, before I carry on, can I just ask you all to join with me in saying thank you very much to Barry Jones for doing the usual upstanding job, which isn't easy. I'm holding it all together tonight. Yeah. Top man, Barry. And uh, I know you used to be getting up here and ranting politically. Let's have a look at you all, see what you all look like tonight. Ah, oh, you're a fine looking crowd. Want to put my glasses on, I can't see any now, dude. Right, I know you all used to be ranting on about things politically. I'm, I'm not going to do that this week because I'm sort of sick of turning the television on. It's going to get nasty next week, I'll probably watch it then. This is still a little bit political though. Because if you cast your mind back to the way we all got treated in COVID, it wasn't easy being in love in COVID. This is called Love Poem Number Something. In the middle of a crowd when it shouldn't be allowed, wondering when this madness will end, talking to strangers every day who can't see their folly in any way, shape or form, is this the new norm? Playing Russian roulette with your lives for a packet of biscuits or a bag of crisps, flouting social distancing, is it worth the risk? Feeling the pain, separated again, another three weeks by the selfish who won't stay at home. I tell you, honey, I'm sick of being alone. Can't wait for you to come back, because TLC I definitely lack. That's as close as you're going to get to a rant tonight, folks. Thanks for having that one. Now, here's a question for you. Have you ever been that much in love but it's unrequited? You've not been able to tell the person and it's bubbled underneath the surface and you can't get that other person off your mind. You think it's bad enough for you, but try being on the autism spectrum and being an Asperger. It's like, tell me not to worry about something. You may as well tell me to go down the maze and tell the world to go back. This is about unrequited love. It's called Bubbled. I ached. My whole body ached. Not from a viral fever or spontaneous combustion. It wasn't that either. Rather something rare. Lack of trying to care, it's alien to me, you see. All that emotion and empathy. But I try my best to be just like you all. I've got used to it, this sharing thing. It's become a passion, an obsessional thing. To my very heart, it clings. I ache to be with you. It felt like fingernails down a blackboard, a creaking door ajar, a paper bag blowing down our street where lovers walk and I may greet. But not you, not yet with you. A cube stretched out before me, obscuring a greater view. I may converse, receive a curse, waiting only to affirm what's true. I'm so in love with you. Another sleepless night watching dawn come up again. Grey fills the room like this interior gloom. I ached. And if you're back next week, folks, I'll be slagging the Tories off. Yeah. Fuck the Tories! That's it. Yeah. Fuck the Tories! 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 I think they're getting the message because even they're saying the, 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 the shots. 
Paddy Jones, folks. Yeah. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you.